Books by Brian Greene. Brian Greene is an American theoretical physicist and one of the best known string theorists. He has been a professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University since 1996. He is also one of the best popular science writers. There is a great quote to the effect that if you can't explain a subject in non-technical terms so that even a layperson can understand it, then you haven't really mastered the subject yourself. On that basis, it is clear that Brian Greene has definitely mastered the subject of general relativity, quantum dynamics, and string theory. The most amazing quality about Brian Greene's writing is simplicity. His books give you a real sense of being guided by someone who genuinely knows what they are talking about, who uses metaphors effectively, and who effectively weaves the traditional material in with the new points he's making. One more thing that I like about his writing is he explains the same concepts again and again at various points in his books. He writes about pretty complicated things, or rather strings, so the reputation is very helpful for at least people like me. And here is a list of my favorite books by Brian Greene. The Fabric of Cosmos Space and time form the very fabric of the cosmos, yet they remain among the most mysterious of concepts. Is space an entity? Why does time have a direction? Could the universe exist without space and time? Can we travel to the past? The subject matter of the book is very interesting. I mean the bending of space and time, particles being entangled through space, spooky action at a distance, possible hidden dimensions, elusive particles and multiverses. The book is extremely engaging and exciting and it's one of those books that are very much in many ways unput down here. The Hidden Reality, Parallel Universes and Deep Laws of the Cosmos. This book is about different concepts of the multiverse and types of it are discussed in detail. Did I understand every word of it? No way. Even if I read it multiple times, it would be hard for me to understand it completely. But the concept and types of multiverse are so fascinating that I couldn't keep the book down. Let me give a quick summary and maybe you will find it interesting too. There are multiple types of multiverses. Quilted multiverse. Quilted multiverse theory states the possibility of multiple pockets of universes in a gravitationally flat universe. Inflationary multiverse. It is a type of a multiverse where an infinite field of energy exists from which countless bubbles spark into existence. This endless field of energy exists outside of time and space and each bubble that's created might consist of different physical laws. Brain multiverse. In string or M theory's brain world scenario, our universe exists on one three-dimensional brain, which floats in a higher dimensional expanse potentially populated by other brains, other parallel universes. Cyclic multiverse. Collisions between brain worlds can manifest big bang-like beginnings, yielding universes that are parallel in time. And there are more types, landscape, quantum, holographic, simulated, and ultimate multiverse. I highly recommend this book for everyone interested in knowing more about multiverse theory. The Elegant Universe, Superstrings, Hidden Dimensions, and the Quest for the Ultimate Theory. It is a general introduction to cosmology and string theory. String theory posits that particles are actually one-dimensional, string-like entities whose vibrations determine the properties of particles, such as their mass and charge. Green does an amazing job of condensing a hundred years of cosmological science and physics into a few chapters. He describes in the first six chapters the most cogent and clear explanation of Einstein's special relativity and general relativity theories. And then Green begins discussing string theory in depth. Green makes a heroic effort at avoiding direct mention of the math, except in the notes section at the back of the book. String theory is difficult to understand, for me at least. So even though it is explained in simple words, I cannot say I understood it completely. But I loved the book and I'm going to read it one more time. And I highly recommend it for people who are curious to know more about string theory which many believe will be the next great leap in figuring out why the universe exists and where it is going. 
Green has written more books and I'm looking forward to reading them all. Hope you like these recommendations. Happy reading.